Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to the hot box that is my bedroom on this summer evening. This current setup iteration, but we're here trying to catch up. There's lots of shows out there that I'm behind on. I know, but we're here for House of Dragons season two, episode seven, because I think we're already at the season finale this weekend. What? What? But I will be catching up on the boys soon more Lucifer, and then of course there's Black Sails. I still have the season one finale to get to, and it's been forever. We're still maneuvering. It's strategy. We're definitely in the strategy phase. Alicent has been released of her position on the council, and she has been pelted with perch. <laughs> Queen of Fishes. <laughs> and Sea Smoke. Sea Smoke? Dragon has a new friend, a new writer, and it is not who anyone suspects. Iman is ejaculating his power everywhere. Good God. Good. Okay, who's surprised? Nobody. Nobody is surprised. But I'm excited to get to it. And I'm so glad that you are here with me for this adventure. So we're going to um, hit subscribe if you haven't already, because I would greatly appreciate that. Also, full episode watch along is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. We're going to try to sync up things. We're going to try to sync up things and watch it together. I have my water on standby because my blood pressure, surprise not, also it's been a little, it was a little high. Let's just say um, 177 over 100 is um, water territory. <laughs> but I hope you have your favorite beverage. Let me know what you're drinking and let's get to it. I can't stop myself from shaking. I don't know what's gonna happen next. <gasps> oh, what is this? Oh, oh, this is the meetup. Cyrix and Sea Smoke. <laughs> She's like, who the hell are you? Because that's right, she doesn't know if he's working for the Greens or not. Do you know who this is, sir? Does he know who this is? You stand! before the queen of the seven kingdoms on her ex-husband's dragon what do you want to learn the ways of dragon riders does he and to serve my queen oh, nicely put sir nicely put that's how i've been having a crawl across my bed this last week and a half you kneel quickly for a man so suddenly elevated. <laughs> I may appear lowborn, but I know much and more of service. What is your parentage? <laughs> My mother was a shipwright. My father is. <laughs> no one of consequence. <laughs> you have done something I feared impossible. Adam of Hull. I am glad of it. Especially since you've <laughs> bent the knee to me. So if uh, Corliss sees Adam, is he going to go, oh, pull Rhaenyra aside. Uh, I think I know why he works so well with the dragons. You will have a scar. It will be easily hidden. <laughs> For half a second, I was thinking, how did Alicent get injured? And then I remembered, queen of the fishes. I think it's clean here. <gasps> Oh, because they, that's right, hung all the rat catchers. Oh, oh. I wish to go out, Sir Ricard. Then I'll have the stewards prepare a retinue. No retinue. Just you. Oh, just you. So you alone, sir, will be solely responsible for her safety. What are they for? The block or the crow cage? The wall. The Prince Regent is merciful. No. Oh, those are Aegon's guys. I have received word of a matter of great importance. Rumor of a sighting of the dragon sea smoke with the rider. He, he flew that low to the ground. People are like, ah, oh, there's a guy on top of his back. Where did you hear it? My squire. He heard it from a stable hand. <laughs> who heard it from his father, a fisherman, whose shipmate claims he saw it. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps this is one of those whispers best left to the wind. Bring forth the rider. 
Will Corliss recognize him? He appears to be a shipwright in your employ, Lord Hand. The Logorn cannot go around seizing dragons. Has the thief been secured? Oh, they jumped right to thievery, didn't they? We know nothing about this man, save that he is low-born. What say you, Lord Hand? Does he think it's Alan? We will await the Queen's accounting. Maybe he thinks it's Alan. Before passing judgment. Mm -hmm. Where is the Queen? Her Grace sends word she will not be attending. Is she um, on a date? So he serves you, and not himself. That it's lucky. Lucky? So, so kind of a date. It's a working, a working dinner. Targaryen blood was perhaps too thin in Sir Stefan Darklin. If I can find others with a more direct line of breeding. <laughs> breeding. Breeding. But you are better served looking under the sheets and in the wood piles. I once worked in a pleasure house where generations of Targaryen princelings. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. A four score of their bastard progeny, at least. That are known to me. Uh huh. There are sure to be more. Mm hmm. So they weren't looking for illegitimate heirs. They were just looking for you speak of the local heirs down the line. <laughs> but in the highborn houses, there is an ancient fealty. Is there? There is honor. Is <laughs> your yes. royal half brothers, Egon and Aemon, whose blood is pure, who wage war against you mm -hmm. for your mm hmm. The order of things has changed, Your Grace. Why not embrace it? Because I'm afraid. For 20 years, the lords of this realm levied insults at my sons. Well then, let us raise an army of bastards. Mm-hmm. Now, Adam, did you have a family, a wife, children that you left <laughs> to come to Dragonstone? <gasps> Beside your papa here. My lord. My lord. How you have come up in the world. <laughs> well done. It is his half-brother's dragon, so it shouldn't be that big of a stretch for Corliss to figure out how it came to be now. Which I think maybe that is what he's realizing. Like, ah, <laughs> makes sense now. Is this the Lannister? What is Oh. Oh, we're at Heron Hall, the castle of nightmares and curses. Lord Tully has answered your summons and brought the River Lords, my king. But the Crown congratulates you on your ascension to the head of your house and Lord Paramount in the Riverlands. Truly glorious. Well done. I did nothing. Nevertheless, you are here, which is the important thing. You were quick enough to dismiss me before. Mm -hmm. What significance to me then? <laughs> You have the title. I am green in this sort of matter, as you so kindly point out, but it does seem to me that you've made rather a mess here. <gasps> Tiny child. Barbarities in the Queen's name. Tiny childs. House Tully swore an oath to King Viserys. That you make it impossible to keep. We recognize the authority of the named heir, Queen Rhaenyra, and your own as her king consort. Consort. Then we shall go to face your vassals, and you will call your banners to war. That might be difficult, my king. And there is another problem. They'll hate you. <laughs> Come along, Lord Oscar. I I want this kid to stand up to Damon, but also survive. And I don't know if those two things can happen. A new lord. New beginning. Let us put all the old unpleasantness behind us. I know I'm not the man my grandsire was, but I hope to begin well and go on from there. Well said. I don't think he was finished speaking. In his wisdom, he has pledged his house and yours to me. They want to hear it from the kid. Why should we now follow a boy when you will align with one who will desecrate the innocent to reach his aims? I did only what was necessary. And I now deliver to you the traitor, Amos Bracken, and his son. No more traitor to his land than you, Willem Blackwood. I agree. I, I am young. And I have no love for Daemon Targaryen. <sighs> Use the sonnet himself and the crown with his comportment here. Comportment! 
My best course is to defer to the oath my grandsire swore to King Viserys. But? I see no reason to cast aside loyalty, no matter how loathsome I may find her representative, the Prince. King. <laughs> Consort. <gasps> oh, oh, tiny child. Mm. Will you have our arm? And the word of my house stands, even if certain people are unworthy of it. The balls on this kid. They are mammoth size. Your Lord Oscar is bold. Yes, he is. And the old ways call for justice to be done. Yes. Justice has been done. And now we unite before our liege lord and our king consort. He's gonna die. I accept you as my vassal, Willem Blackwood. But? But. <laughs> but there is only one answer for the crimes you visited upon your neighbors. Oh, it's death. He's dying now. This is why he's dying. This is how he's dying. I this... did only what his grace, the king, required of me. You did it because you wanted to. Our young lord speaks truly. <gasps> Seize him. Oh, we're only seizing him. Command them. If his grace wishes to show contrition for his acts and to prove himself deserving of our banners, he must now rectify his grievous error, denounce your crimes, <laughs> and dispense justice. Oh dear. <laughs> He's dying. He's dying. Oh, he's dying. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, was it an arm or the head? Was it an arm or the head? I'm guessing it was his head. Oh, and here's a goat thing. That looks like more than a goat. That looks like a... What is that? Or is he uh, daydreaming again? <laughs> Daydream, sure. Waking nightmare. Is there an official term for a waking nightmare? Or a nightmare when you're awake? A day scare? Daymare? What is this? <laughs> I never wanted it. Mm. I was right not to. Well, I think if you really, really didn't want it, you could have given it to Renes. Do you want it still? Very much so. Oh, he's walking. He's upright. He is upright. This man is Upright. <laughs> Is that his arm or the... <laughs> that could be the cane. It could also be his leg. And he is, oh, wow. Looking a lot like Viserys <laughs> right now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Your progress is impressive. <laughs> It is, actually. It's very impressive, the fact that he's, like, on his feet. Adjustments to the gate and so forth that you will learn now that you are as you are. <laughs> Let him try again in a few hours. He is spent. Let me give you the 411 here, Grandmaster. It will be long before he may rest again. Do you want the regent to be the king-king or just the regent? Alan. <laughs> Have I got some news to share with you, sir? The queen has found a new rider for one of her dragons. The rider is your brother. Our people are of old Valeria. We are no dragon lords. Ooh, so who was your mother, boy? Aye, 
confess I knew little of your mother's heritage. I am of Sultan Sea. I yearn for nothing else. <laughs> you may go. I should try that at the day job when I'm done talking to people. <laughs> oh, they're off to Pentos. Again, was that the plan originally? They were just going to stop at the Vale? I thought they were going to be at the Vale for a long time. In exchange for people. And soldiers. Uh, Reyna, you have a task to keep the future of Targaryens alive. It's Allison on a horse with no name. Oh, who's she coming across? Oh, that's her guy. That's right. That's her guy. When does your grace mean to return to the city? Never. I'm not yet certain I do. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Indefinitely. The lowborn claiming dragons. Was it her idea? Hmm. Heir to the Dunfall. These people are courageous. Mongrels. <gasps> Jay. Jace. Jace. Mm. Is she gonna lay it down? House Targaryen is the blood of the dragon. If any may lay claim to it, what are we then? Jace, with these riders, we can end a needless war. I may take my rightful place on my father's throne. And when you die? Then you will, maybe, possibly. If you... You uh, are my heir. <laughs> play your cards right. Did you think I would have? Dark hair. Now we're getting to it. <laughs> Drusarus. I'm no fool! The proof is here for all to see. Yet I may argue my legitimacy to succeed you because I have a dragon. And now you say you'll strip that from me too. Uh, no. That might have been what you heard. But that's not what she said. Then don't pursue it. Then what's your idea then, sir? Insane. That which the gods have laid before me. Oh, is Jace gonna like retaliate against Saria? Do you see that it finds her? He got to Dragonstone pretty quickly. Oh man. Oh man. This is some subterfuge. Man, Renera sent her lady in waiting deep spy mission there. I was asking a lot. Was she was she up for this task? Did she have the skills? Was she approaching every white haired gentleman. <laughs> Word is, Renera is recruiting small folk to go to Dragonstone. They're looking for Targaryen bastards. Boats leave tonight. Hour of the bat. <gasps> Wait. So they're gathering to take him on a boat. Now what's to stop Eamon from overhearing this? Well, that's a shame. Because I'd have been and, first and in line catching if the it boats. wasn't for my injury. Because my leg Dude. hasn't been the same. <laughs> touched. He's saying you can claim a dragon. A chance to stick it to Eamon. And claim a dragon. Dragon. Yeah, no. Dragon. I can't be sure it's all true. You can't leave. That you've been drinking. On our dying. These, these good people. No, no, for a fiction. No one. Can I see a little glimmer? Where is it? <laughs> There's the old fine now. Yes. Yes, yes there it is. <laughs> I think that's called shit in his pants. Oh, the dragon lord! Oh, the dragon lord! Just a little bit louder, y'all, for the spies to hear. I don't <gasps> want you to go. Oh. I have to, cut. So what does he suspect he has Targaryen blood in him? I never knew my father. Besides his white hair. But I did know my mother. And what did mom say? What did mom say? What did mom say? And what did mom do? I hid it from you. <gasps> she worked. In the palace. In a pleasure house. Oh, pleasure house. She was granted more freedom than most. Because of who she was. And because rich men paid more to fuck a woman with silver hair. 
Oh, she was illegitimate. She used to tell me. Oh. I was no different to her brother's boys, Viserys and Damon. Oh. I could not protect you. I could not keep our girl alive. <gasps> she died. Oh. She died. So Damon was uncle, Rhaenyra's direct cousin, first cousin. And no, nobody, nobody from the crown heard that this, this was happening and all these people were gathering on shores. And why didn't they escape this way in the first place? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking this, this, this is important information I need. <gasps> and Ulf is there. <laughs> so are all these, all these people going to become crispy critters? <laughs> How many? There's two dragons. Two. And a lot of people. Two dragons. <laughs> so, what's, what's the plan, Allison? Just cry, <laughs> cry in the ri in the river, cry river in the river. And if a dragon came out of nowhere and stomped her, or scooped her up like an eagle with a fish. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Look at all your family there, Venera. The potluck is on. Oh, oh, they're speaking in high Valerian. Skurion <laughs> Oh, okay. So who's gonna care for the dragon? That's a lot of men to take care of dragons. I used to think I knew what it was to claim a dragon, but I understand now that what I thought I knew is ash in the wind. <laughs> I love that color. I love that color. Some of you may welcome the prospect of change, even death, given the alternatives. With these two dragons added to our number, the enemy will have no choice but to give way. Mm, in peace theory. will be restored. <laughs> Don't think it's gonna be that simple. Suffering will be ended. Oh, there'll be more suffering. And without bloodshed. So much blood. The dragon, named Vermithor, is the largest in the world after Vega. Perhaps the most fierce. We'll go to him now. <laughs> Let's start with that one. May the gods bless you. Nigel Maziz Vermithos. Gonna drop down from the ceiling or something. Mm -mm. Okay, so who rode Vermithor before Vermithos Lukiri? This. Be calm. Be calm. Yeah, so who rode Vermithor before? I know you all know. I probably bet you all know, like, the three writers before. What if Vermithor likes to be single so they can mingle? And doesn't want any writer. Who's up? <laughs> Who among you would be first? We know how this is going to end. They didn't give these people 30 seconds of to tell tutorial. You. Oh, yes, must you be do. the dragon who speaks. How about you give a little like Valerian, hi. This is how you say hello. 
This is how you greet. This is how you greet your dragon. You bow or you wave or something. And she just goes. So, is this her way of implementing her idea without taking full responsibility? As in, I don't like this idea. It should only be highborn people that ride dragons, but we'll throw them in the pit, see what happens. You are dragon chow. You're dragon chow. <laughs> They're like little, oh, and the guards are keeping them there. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go if, if they're not. Oh, shit. Oh, sheesh kebabs. Literally sheesh kebabs. Oh, well, this isn't going well at all. Jesus! <laughs> this is terrible! This is so... This was so bad! That might have been a better end for him, truthfully, than just to be burned. Punk and girl, that's no. Here I am. Wow, he's going to sacrifice himself for it. That's the kind of man he is for now, so I've heard. Come on! <laughs> I'm exhausted. I've just been lulled into a uh, with that uh, the clickety click 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 sound what sound the drag is making it's kind of making you go he's like fuck that yeah that's right who's your daddy one down <laughs> who's next Okay, so this is how Ulf finds his dragon. Okay, this tracks, this tracks. You have no idea where you're going. Is that mud or dragon guano? guano? Look at those wings. Yeah, uh -huh. it's not mud. Just envisioning Shrek when <laughs> Dragon sees sees Donkey for the first time. Insta love, insta love. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> what might be your name? <laughs> the army's allied with House Beesbury. However, what's happening outside? When he does, the High Tower host will be unstoppable. Oh, please let it be all all the dragons. If it's four dragons, if it's four dragons. <laughs> Was that sea smoke? <gasps> oh, it's awful! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is he gonna be toast already? <laughs> he was 
gonna see this guy on a dragon. <laughs> oh, they they sat down. They 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 they. Okay. That is a beast and a half. <laughs> That is a beast and a half. That's Vagar. What you doing there, Eamon? No. Yeah, we know how much control you have over your dragon. So he was going to head right out. He was going to head right out to Dragonstone. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. She's like, that's right, you little fucker. <laughs> that's what she's going, you little fucker. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, those were several sights. Several sights to see. Yeah, that end shot with Renera just like, Walker with the dragons all around her with riders and how how did okay so we know Laris heard about sea smoke and rider he didn't hear a speck a wisp of this call for Targaryen bastards to come to the shore to get on a boat. He didn't hear a thing at all. Or did he and just what does he want? What does Laris want? Does he want to raise his status? Or does he or is he just a chaos monster? It really doesn't matter which side he's as long as the chaos is in, is going is he wanting to just bring down the high towers or is he wanting to bring down the Targaryens or just the whole infrastructure? Mm-hmm. Because I've had that thought before. What does he want? Is he just a chaos monster? Possible. We never got what happened after uh, Tully and Demon and the Blackwood and the Rivermen. That was something. Oh, that kid. That kid had cojones. I'll give him that. He who... Oh, he stepped up. I want him to serve. I want him to do well now, which makes I'm afraid he's gonna die. Oh. But Rhaenyra's idea. <laughs> okay, let's take the people. Hello. Welcome to the ultimate game show. Uh, the rules are I'm gonna throw you in the pit and uh, see who survives. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and, may and may the gods smile upon you basically that's what she said right that was her plan okay i guess only the strongest of soul deserves to be on a dragon however that was that was gnarly and what must you have left behind to come take part of this opportunity of most certain death so much carnage so there's only one more episode to go, right? Okay, so we're still putting pieces on the board, kind of shuffling into play. Are we going to get a dragon battle in episode eight? I don't think we're gonna get a resolution as you can hear the buses outside to anything. Yeah, I don't think, we're, what, what could possibly, because we know the overall who's going to be on the throne will not be resolved. That's way down the line. Do, are we going to get, I, I, this is why I'm questioning out loud, because this is what I want to know. Something for me needs to be buttoned up by the end of season two. Whether it's the whole demon thing out in Heron Hall, somebody on Team Green going down. We've got, was it Raina out? Not on her way to Pentos. But I would be shocked if we lost another House Black 
member because we lost Luke in, at the end of season one. They could have us lose another one at the end of season two, but I would like to see somebody in House Green go down for reals this time. No Aegon escape. Mm -hmm. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. I am intrigued. Would you have gone down to that pit? Would you have stayed in the pit or would you have fought like hell to get out through the door you came into, not down into the pit below? What kind of exit strategy was that? Yeah, but would you have gone down? I don't know. Uh, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. Okay. Okay. But there we go. Episode seven. Thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here with me. So in the meantime, until we meet again, please take care of yourself. It's August already. So enjoy your summer, wear your sunscreen, stay hydrated, and uh, come back. Come back and watch the next episode in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time. <laughs>